for the given singly symmetrical i section for the given i section which is symmetric about single axis that is xx axis symmetric about xx axis it is required to find the shear center location from the bell to two dash okay so the dimensions are shown here okay one two three one dash two dash three dash a thickness t t t a thickness is t by beta a thickness is t by beta here the length is d here beta d okay so as i told you already the, the section is symmetric about x axis means it is required to consider only sy to locate the shear center because the shear center location will lie along the axis of symmetry now symmetric means i x y would be zero so i s x also zero because we are going to consider only s y so if i substitute here in this expression both s x and uh, i x y to be zero i get the expression for the shear flow q s is equal to minus s y by i x x minus s y by i x x integral t y d s the limit zero to s means t y d s okay so the first thing is we have to calculate the moment of inertia so moment of inertia i x x so i x x so in this case the t is assumed to be small when compared to other dimensions okay is given as a assumptions in the problem okay so for example here in this case 1 to 2 b d cube by 12 plus area and distance square okay b d cube by 12 right t d t cube by 12 plus area e into d distance so from here to here distance is the total height is h okay the total height is h okay so i didn't mention here so i'll just mention here so this is h h okay so h by 2 t into d into h by 2 whole square okay so on the top also same 1 dash to 2 dash same dimensions same distance from x x axis so i can multiply by 2 so 2 into okay plus plus for this case for this case plus b d cube by 12 okay b d cube by 12 b d cube by 12 uh, b is beta d okay into t by b so b d cube by 12 plus area beta d into t by beta 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 will get cancelled okay so you'll get only d right you'll get only t d you'll get t d distance as this h by 2 h by 2 the whole square right h by 2 the whole square okay 2 to 3 and 2 dash 3 dash same dimension located at the same distance so i can just multiply by 2 i can multiply by 2 okay plus plus the verb bd cube by 12 okay th cube by 12 th cube by 12 so i told you the small uh, thickness can be neglected so here so this can be neglected okay and this is also can be neglected because t cube okay t cube higher powers of t can be neglected as it is being small so when you just simplify this you will get the term to be ixx th square t th square into d plus h by 2 okay th square into d plus h by 12 is the ixx value now ixx is known so we can substitute here we can find the shear flow values we can find the shear flow values okay
okay right now for 1 to 2 okay you can start calculating from 1 or 3 1 dash or 3 dash because open ends where we know uh, the definite value for shear flow that is 0 so 1 to 2 let us take calculate for 1 to 2 right 1 to 2 okay 1 to 2 the shear flow so this is let me consider the small element ds okay at a distance yes at a distance yes okay so q1 to 2 is equal to q1 to 2 is equal to minus sy by ixx okay minus sy by ixx integration okay 0 to yes okay for 1 to 2 thickness is t okay t okay what is y value now this is my element okay this is the y distance below xx axis so minus h by 2 minus h by 2 into ds minus h by 2 into ds so so what i will get minus s minus to minus plus so sy by ixx sy by ixx minus to minus plus sy by ixx t into h by 2 t into h by 2 if I integrate ds I will get yes I will get yes okay so at at 1 s is equal to 0 so when I substitute here q1 is equal to 0 mathematically we can prove it then at 2 s is equal to d at 2 s is equal to d so q2 q2 is equal to sy by ixx t h by 2 into d t h by 2 into d okay so it is positive okay it is showing a uh, positive value the shear flow is positive value so here it is 0 okay at 1 it is uh, positive okay q2 is uh, sy by ixx t h d by 2 okay d by 2 so if you look at the power s power is 1 so it is very easy to plot the shear flow there's a straight line linear variation so i can just simply draw a line a straight line okay straight line 1 to 2 okay 1 to 2 i'm getting positive so the shear flow takes the same direction of yes okay same direction of s so it is positive okay it is positive so if you look at if you look at this uh, 1 dash to 2 dash again 1 dash to 2 dash okay 1 dash to 2 dash the expression q 1 dash to 2 dash is equal to so what i will get here the same expression same expression y is nothing but plus h by 2 y is nothing but plus h by 2 here already i am having minus the expression so what i will get the same expression with negative sign so minus sy by ixx t h by 2 into s after integration suppose if this is my if this is my element if this is my element i consider okay if this is the distance yes okay same i can integrate it so q1 to 2 is negative which means that which means that the shear flow takes the reverse direction so it will be in a direction opposite to the s direction so the shear flow will be like this like this so at 2 the at 2 dash the shear flow sy by ixx t h by 2 into d because s is equal to d okay see at 1 dash s is equal to 0 q1 dash is 0 at 2 dash s is equal to d you will get this value so both q1 to 2 and q1 dash 2 dash magnitude wise same okay this minus plus and minus is taken care by this dash of arrow marks Please don't confuse yourself, okay? 
straight line because s power 1 so straight line variation straight line variation now when i start calculating the shear flow from point 3 or from point 3 dash i should get the same shear flow okay we will we'll see that now okay so let me draw this Now Q, uh, 3 to 2, so 3 to 2, same way, consider a small uh, element, ds at a distance s, ds at a distance s, so 3 to 2, okay, 3 to 2, so Q, 3 to 2 is equal to minus a square by i x x, integration 0 to s so thickness is t by beta okay thickness is t by beta very important blind division of take it as t okay thickness is t by beta and this is h by 2 minus h by 2 okay it is minus h by 2 below x x axis minus h by 2 into ds so minus into minus plus you will get so sy by ixx sy by ixx into t by beta into h by 2 into if you integrate s yes. so at 3 when s is 0 shear flow is 0 ok at 3 s is equal to 0 shear flow is 0 mathematically we are proving it then at 2, S is equal to beta D, right? Beta D, beta D, Q2 is equal to. So when I substitute here beta D, beta beta will get cancelled. Okay, beta beta will get cancelled. So SY by I X X T H by 2 into D. T H by 2 into D okay, same expression you see, you can see here, same expression. When you come to the next 3 dash to 2 dash, same way. Okay, if you take the element ds at a distance s yes means so here q2 okay, 3 to 2 is positive, so the shear flow direction will follow the direction of s, yes, same direction like this, it will follow like this same direction so here it is 0 okay at 3 it is 0 so 3 to 2 same way if you try to write down the expression q 3 dash 2 dash okay same expression I will get okay same expression thickness t by beta here the same expression I will get so y is nothing but plus h by 2 plus h by 2 okay so plus into minus I will get minus same expression with the negative okay same expression with the negative so minus s y by i x x t by beta into h by 2 into s so at 3 dash s is 0 shear flow is 0 at 2 dash s is d you will get the shear flow same shear flow what are getting here so i am getting negative value negative shear flow so the shear flow dash is in a direction opposite to that of S, like this, like this. So here it is 0. So we just connected by a straight line. So here also straight line. So the shear flow comes like this, then through the web it passes like this, then it leaves like this on the top. Okay. So this is the shear flow direction. And the equation is containing a linear term, that's why we draw it as a straight line. That's why we draw it as a straight line. Now it is required to locate the shear center from the vertical bell. Okay, vertical bell. So let us take a moment. Let us take a moment with respect to O. So let me take this as my point O. So let us assume that SY is acting here at a distance e at a distance e okay right at a distance e okay so now 
this shear flow this shear flow with respect to go will give you a clockwise moment and the shear flow is how will you find the shear flow so when the shear flow diagram is available in the earlier case if you see i have integrated because i was getting s square term here i am getting linear term if you find the area of this shear flow diagram if you find the area of the uh, area of the shear flow diagram you will get the shear force right you will get the shear force if you find the area of the shear flow diagram you will get the shear force now this is a triangle how will you find the area of into base into height like that of into base into height so these two produces a clockwise one and these two produces anti clockwise okay so now let us write down the moment equation so let us write down the moment equation this one okay so both are having same magnitude okay clockwise okay so of beta d into s y by i x x t x d by 2 of beta d s y by i x x t h by h into d by 2 right so this is the shear flow into this height i'm taking a moment with respect to this into h by 2 into h by 2 off into okay base into height i is the about shear flow s y by i x x t h by 2 okay shear flow into the distance into the distance and two shear flows i can uh, multiply by 2 right off into base into height and this gives anti clockwise so minus again twice twice area off into d into shear flow s y by i x x t h d by 2 okay off into base into height shear force into again h by 2 into h by 2 right then this s y into e minus s y into e is equal to 0 okay so after substituting this i x x okay and uh, after simplification you will get e to be after simplification so the final term i'm getting 3 rho 3 rho by 12 rho plus 1 is equal to beta minus 1 is equal to e by d is equal to e by d where rho is equal to d by h let's be simplifying it okay where rho is equal to d by h so this is the shear center distance from the o point okay from the O point. So this is the moment equation. Okay, so the area of the shear flow diagram will give you the shear force. Okay, shear force into h by two. Clockwise positive, and this is anti-clockwise negative. Thank you.